What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today is St. Patrick's Day 2022, and to celebrate St. Patty's Day, I thought I would review a beer from the Fatheads Brewery, and they are out of Middleburg Heights, Ohio, and this is their St. Fatty's Irish Style Red Ale. So this is an Irish Red Ale that comes in at 4.8% alcohol by volume, 23 IBUs at the time of review, and this can is just under two months old. So Happy St. Patrick's Day. Hopefully everybody out there is having a great time, responsibly, of course. Um, so <clears throat> last year, the channel's on hiatus on St. Patrick's Day. Uh, but the year before, I actually reviewed a, a couple, um, you know, St. Patty's Day inspired beers. So I thought I would review another one this year. And uh, I only have one green shirt, Tommy Boy, one of the best comedies ever. I love I love Chris Farley. I love Tommy Boy. I love Black Sheep. It's fantastic. Anyway, so... Uh, I wanted to pick uh, Irish Red Ale of some sort up, and uh, I wanted to go with this one because it's been a while since I've had a Fatheads beer, and I really like the brewery. I've reviewed a handful of beers from them on the channel over the course of the past four years, and uh, I'd never had this one, so I'm like, let's do it. So um, they don't say much about it here on uh, the label, but it's an Irish-style Red Ale. Not much more to say, so let's crack this one open, get in the glass, give it a proper review, and see how it is. Hopefully it's uh, pretty tasty. Now, Irish-style uh, Red Ale is not my favorite not my favorite style, but I do appreciate a good one. So hopefully this is tasty. I do like, you know, malt four beers. And that's pretty much what, you know, Irish red ales are. A lot of like caramel and toffee and butterscotch and goodness of that nature. So yeah, anyway, really like the label too. Their logo, he's ready. The fat head himself, that is. Anyway, so yeah, that has, you know, it, it looks like a red ale in person on camera is probably going to maybe be a little bit darker. Um, it has, it kind of has like this copper kind of color to it. Uh, has about a finger of a light tan. Um, pretty nice head overall. Uh, nice looking beer. I would say it looks more orange and, and, and like a darker orange than a red ale, honestly, even in person. Had decent clarity to it. You can't see through it. It's not completely opaque. A um, little bit on the other side, but anyway, doesn't matter. Skin knows. Yeah, so... <laughs> Tons of malt character. There's there's toffee, there's caramel, touch of like butterscotch, a uh, very slight dark fruit component, maybe like a raisin, toasted toasted uh, bread, touch of like an earthy. Yeah, it's like an earthy, almost floral kind of component. Yeah, it just smells like a lot of malt goodness. It's um, you know, nothing amazing. But the style, it's supposed to be very drinkable. It's 4.8%. And uh, I'll tell you right now, it smells like it's going to be quite drinkable. So anyway, uh, let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. And once again, happy St. Patrick's Day. Very nice. Very solid. Very simple. There's not too much going on in this one. I think it follows the uh, style quite well. It's just nothing amazing. Body on this one's like lower side of medium, approaching medium, bit bigger, 4.8%. It's nice. Good thing it's not watery. Mouthfeel is really smooth on the palate. There's carbonation to let you know this is an Irish Red Ale, but it's not too much, not too carbonated. Body and mouthfeel are really nice. The taste, again, the nose carries over, maybe a little bit more subtle and subdued, but same thing. I'd go toasted white bread, caramel toffee, Touch of butterscotch. It's more of like a like a red fruit as opposed to a dark fruit. I was getting the nose more like a like a red apple. All that multi goodness hits out the front of the palate as it passes through, transitions into this nice earthy, slightly floral hop character. Finishes with a tinge of bitterness, semi dry. So this does have a nice balance between the, the sweet malt character and, and the dryness on the back of the palate. Super easy to drink. Extremely well balanced. Like, I feel like if somebody, if I could do this anymore, and I can't. If I'm following the channel over the past uh, year or so, you know, I, I, I can't session beers anymore. I just can't drink a lot of beers anymore for health reasons. But back in the day, if somebody, if it was St. Patrick's Day and somebody gave me a six pack of this, I could easily sip on this through the course of two, three, four hours, and I'd be feeling good, but my palate would not get shot. It'd be really easy to drink. It'd not, it would not be overwhelmed. I wouldn't get palate fatigue. Very simple and easy to drink. Like, I could crush a ton of these. 
And that's what it's made for is to um, drink on St. Patrick's Day or around, you know, in March and enjoy yourself. And there's nothing wrong with this beer, just nothing amazing about it. So there's not much I can say about this one in terms of rating. I'm not going to go super high, but I think St. Fatty's, their Irish style red ale from Fatheads, easy, high 375 out of 5, oh, 3.8 out of 5. It's a good beer. It's a good representation of the style. It's not the best in the style, but I think it hits the nail on the head for most of it. It's just I've had better uh, Irish red ales and even from American um, brewed, um, or from American breweries, American brewed Irish reds. This, though, has a drinkability that I think a lot of people would appreciate if you enjoy the style. It's not going to punch you in the face with flavor, but what for what it lacks in flavor makes up for in drinkability. Uh, price point availability, price point. I bought a single can. It was buck ninety nine, I believe. I believe uh, six packs in my area are anywhere between ten to twelve bucks, depending on where you go. So less than two bucks a can, no matter where you buy it around here. I don't know if that's the same wherever Fat has gets destroyed. I know they get destroyed throughout Ohio and a bunch of other places. I think in Pennsylvania as well. Um, but twelve bucks the max for six pack. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, availability, like I said, I don't know. I, I know they're in Ohio. They're here in New York State. I think they're in Pennsylvania. That might be in some other uh, states. So if you're not in New York, Pennsylvania, or Ohio, and you can get your hands on Fathead stuff, let me know. They used to have um, a pub out in uh, Portland, uh, Portland, Oregon, and um, I think they closed that down at some point. Correct me if I'm wrong out there, if anybody knows, but I'm pretty sure they closed that one down. Uh, but yeah, I like Fatheads. I've been to the brewery numerous times. We now get distro and have been for like the last five years. And I need to pick up more of their stuff and drink it. I've reviewed their Headhunter and their Bumbleberry. Uh, what else? Their Hop Juju, probably my favorite beer from them. But there's a lot of beers they get here, it, get distro here in the New York um, area. And uh, I need to get my New York State, New York, West New York here. And I need to get my hands on them. So, and review them because why not? It's been a while. So anyway, not much more to say about it. If you've had this one before, post in the comment section. 4.8%. You really can't even feel it, which is nice. And yeah, not much more to say. So appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. Like I said, I'm hoping that you're having not only a fantastic St. Patrick's Day, but hopefully you're doing it responsibly and not getting too crazy. Just enjoy yourself. It's what it's for. Anyway, to the next one. Cheers.